Alright guys, so it's been a few weeks since the last update in the series for the M1102 trailer and today we're going to actually make a start on the next phase which is some painting. So um, this thing has been sat here and if you can see, let's see here, we have a little surface rust coming all around the frame, uh, all around the rack rather, and um, so we're going to take care of that. And then the important thing is um, we're actually going to use P.O.R. which is paint over rust, it's cunningly named. And um, the important thing is to get that on before the rain starts, which, uh, you know, it's sort of mid-October um, now. So you can expect any time from November we're really going to start to see the rain. And that wouldn't be good. So with that said, let's get going. Okay, so it's time to get some paint on the rack. As I noted, we are coming up to the end of the year, and it is going to rain pretty soon, hopefully. So I'm going to paint it in place, on the trailer, but what I plan to do is detach the four mounting plates, one on each leg, and then slide the polythene drop cloth under each corner. This way the weight of the rack will actually keep the drop cloth in place, and will kill two birds with one stone. This should protect the whole of the trailer from any paint, primer, or degreaser that might happen to get spilled as I work my way around the trailer. Alright guys, that's it for today. Just a quick pass over the uh, corner uh, welding here uh, with this wire brush. Uh, I think I'm going to have to come back with a rotary uh, wheel, the rotary brush, just to get into some of the corners here. Unfortunately, it did sit here um, a little bit too long in the sort of exposed. It hasn't rained, but it has been uh, foggy a couple of times. So. Uh, a little bit more prep needed before we can get on to the next step, which is degreasing. And then it's the pre-primer and then the P.O.R. paint over rust or paint on rust. I'm not sure which one it is. So hopefully tomorrow we'll wrap up the sanding on this and then we can get into the degreasing and start to do the painting. Okay, now just taking a look at the results of the uh, etching primer. 
and you can see it there's sort of a white finish to it which is what we're looking for it's a little rust on the bottom plates which is to be expected because um, they're flat and all of the water when you rinse off the etching agent settles on there but we'll just give that a quick sand and then we'll get on with the painting And you're looking at the results of the first coat. This is about a week later. It's pretty smooth, it's gone on and it's leveled pretty well. Um, it's a little dull and that is to be expected because POR15 is not UV resistant. And so we're gonna put another coat on now. Then we're gonna follow that with the top coat of Rust-Oleum Black Gloss. Okay, here's the second coat. It's very shiny. It's uh, not quite dry yet, still drying. Um, looks good, so I'm going to let this dry fully now and then we are going to put Rust-Oleum Gloss over the top of this but I want to make sure that this coat is fully dry before we put the top coat on so that we don't have two different layers of paint drying at the same time. Okay, now it's about a week later and we have some squirrel prints here I think but as you can see the paint has gone dull as is expected so we'll wipe this down clean all the squirrel prints away, and then get on with putting our first coat of Rust-Oleum Black Gloss Enamel Paint onto the rack. And a quick check in, it's now May 2021. It's about six months later. This has been through the winter and you know, we had a little rain, as much as California gets here. And certainly some foggy and misty mornings. The paint is fine. So I would say that is a success. One more coat of uh, roll-on rust to go. And that'll be the rack painted. Well, thanks for watching our video. Since you did make it to the end, why not give us a like? And if you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get the notifications for new video releases. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.